What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. I am not the single guy, but I do have a topic that I think all of you are going to love, okay? And that's why are women manipulative, <laughs> okay? Because, uh, yeah, you probably noticed if you've been dating or if you've been doing that, you've probably been manipulated by a woman in some way, shape, or form. Definitely throughout your life, it's definitely happened to you. So what I'm gonna talk about today is I'm gonna talk about why women are manipulative. I'm gonna talk about how to handle it when a woman is doing that to you and some practical tips that you could start doing in your everyday life so women aren't manipulating you left and right. Or left and right, let me start that again, <laughs> okay? All right, so number one, why do women manipulate? Well, if you look at young children, let's take, uh, I'll take my business partner's kids for an example. My business partner has five kids. One of them is a girl, the rest are boys. Now, when the guys, when the boys want something, they have a couple of options for them. They can ask, um, or they can bully one of the other kids and get it physically. You know, they can, you know, take their things, they can run around, they can uh, push them. They have a lot of ways to get what they want, physically. The girl does not have those options. She is not as strong as those boys, and she knows this. So if she wants something, what do you think she does? Hmm? She uses her brain. She uses manipulation to get what she wants, whether it's crying at the right moment, whether it's you know subtly maybe saying something to one of the boys, telling him something that's not true, or maybe something that's kind of true, going up to her daddy, giving him a little kiss on the cheek, saying, Daddy, I love you. And then, and then, and then the dad's like, what do you want? She's like, I want a little, I want a candy bar. <laughs> and she gets it every time. <laughs> okay. One time she even walked up to my business partner and she, and she was like, and he goes, you're just coming up to this because you want something. She goes, yep. <laughs> It's manipulation, okay? Women learn at a very young age that to get what they want, manipulating men is one of the best ways to get it, okay? Well, not maybe one of the best ways. It's a way to get it. I can't tell you the number of women who use this and use this in school, use this as they got, like, it, this doesn't go away. Like, you think just because they learn it a little kid, they're like, oh, that was nice, it worked as a little kid, I'm not gonna use it anymore. Uh-uh, they get better at it, <laughs> all right? It's more disguised now, okay? So I can't tell you the number of women that I dated that had men do their homework in college. I dated one girl who literally didn't do, for like several of her classes, she didn't do a single assignment. She literally just had guys that would do it for them, you know? I can't tell you the number of women that have gotten money from like Snapchat or from dating apps or something like that, you know? Women realize that they can use manipulation to get what they want. Now, as they get older and older, they realize some manipulation makes them feel bad and they don't like doing it. Um, but, you know, th it's still going to happen. You're still going to get that moment when maybe you're out to dinner or something like that and she wants something, but she's not going to ask you directly because she doesn't want to sound mean, but she still wants it, okay? <laughs> maybe she wants to eat at a certain fancy restaurant. Do you think she's going to tell you, hey, let's just eat there? Some might, but most will manipulate you so they... They think they, or they make, they make you think that you picked it out of your own right so they can, so they can play it safe, okay? Women do this because it's, a, you know, it's an advantageous thing for them. And look, men commit physical violence. Women generally will commit emotional violence, you know, especially to each other. Like, they're fucked up, dude. Like, if you see some of the things that these kids are doing to each other, starting hate groups about each other, like, it's, it's bad, man. It's bad. Um, you know, like <laughs> one of my friends was telling me uh, there's a joke uh, in Seinfeld where they were talking about uh, things as kids and, you know, what were some bad things boys did as a child? And they would be like, well, you know, we'd push them in a locker and lock them in there. And then they asked uh, the woman of the group, they're like, well, what did you do when you were a girl? And she goes, uh, we just make fun of a girl until she developed an eating disorder. <laughs> Like, that's the level of manipulation that we're talking about. So how do you go through life to and not get manipulated by? Because too frequently, nice guys, they're the easiest, the, the simp guys, as they call them. So, like, am I using the right term on the web? Simp guys easily get manipulated by women. So how, to, how can you not be one of those guys? All right. Now, when men first hear about this, I was this kind of guy for a little bit. I would call them out on it. I would call them out when they were trying to manipulate me. Okay? If you do this you will not get a good response, okay? I remember one time there was this girl who, uh, 
I really don't know how to describe her. She was like, don't hang around this kind of woman. She was someone who basically, I think she had a boyfriend at the time where she was dating somebody, claimed to be a virgin, but literally every guy that hung around her, she would like wrap her arm around him. She would give him a little kiss on the cheek. She would come in and cuddle. She would get like really affectionate. You know, she would start, she would send kissy faces every time she sent a message, like hearts and stuff, saying, I miss you when we're not even fucking dating. Like, she would say all of these things. Why would she do this? She did this because she realized that if she did it, she could get men to do what she wanted. Or she would have a certain sense of protection by just an army of simp guys that were just trying to get at her that weren't going to get any. You know, she realized that she could do this. Very slippery slope, by the way. You know, but typically I find women who uh, do this much manipulation have some... You know, they're a little messed up. Um, And one time she was doing it with me and I just yelled at her. I was like, yo, get off me. Like, you keep doing this every time. Like, why are you doing this? You know you're manipulating, blah, blah, blah. And she denied, 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 denied. Anyway, eventually she just like didn't want to be friends with me. And then she started talking shit about me to like her other friends. Okay, basically I made an enemy. I made an enemy with a manipulative person. Do you think that was a good idea? No, (laughs) that was not a good idea. So if you're dealing with this with someone that even with someone that you're dating, they're just going to grow to resent you because like this is like you can't get mad about this. You guys like this is how people act. Men manipulate, women manipulate, women are better at it than men are. And if you call them out on it, it's not going to give you the uh, result that you want. The person that you're dating is going to like she might leave you or she might just get really angry and then manipulate you even more. All right. So the way that you deal with it is. The way I do it now is if you see it happening, you laugh and then you do whatever it is you were going to do before. (laughs) Okay. You just don't let it affect you. All right. Now, when women see that this happens to you, they're going to realize that that kind of tactic doesn't work and they're going to try another tactic. Maybe they'll be more mature. Maybe they'll be more of an adult around you. Okay. Hopefully. There's still probably going to be a little bit of manipulation in there. But the worst thing that you can do is get angry and lash out at them because honestly, sometimes that's what they want. Okay? So if you're in this position, don't get mad about it. It's okay. You know? Just smile, laugh, see it for what it is, and then move on and continue doing whatever it is you wanted to do. All right? Trying to have a, trying to have a mature discussion if you're in a relationship can sometimes work. But I find that if you're in the dating phase and women are trying to manipulate you, they will almost, a lot of them will lose respect for you, okay? That's why they're able to like kind of like manipulate and boss around and get these, you know, simp or, or nice guys uh, to do what they want. Um, and it's almost, a, it's almost like a filter <laughs> for the guys that they won't date. If they can manipulate you, if they can boss you around, if they can get you to do exactly what they want to do, then you've pretty much uh, made yourself into a guy that they're not going to date. So. Now that you understand it, you, you realize why ma- women do this manipulation, you can see it better. When you see it, you acknowledge it, you smile, you laugh, and then you go do whatever it is you were fucking going to do before. So anyway, that's my advice for you guys. If you made it to the end, consider subscribing. I come out with videos like this every single week. If you're interested in getting coached by me personally, there's a link in the description box below. Thank you so much, and good luck out there.